Hello everyone, Immanence here. This is the first of a series of videos where I will recommend 10 tents for you to beat easily each island of the archipelago in story mode. In this first video, I will cover the first island, Denise. First, I will make a brief analysis of the elemental types that predominate on this island. Then, based on that, I will indicate catchable tentens on this island for you to use in the story. I will also recommend which statuses to look for, which trait is the best, which SEVs and abilities to prioritize. My idea is to only indicate tentens that you can capture by yourself before reaching the dojo. Therefore, I will not indicate tentens from other islands or anything like that. It is important to say that these are recommendations based on the weaknesses of the predominant tentens on this island and a little bit on my personal preference. That said, you don't have to follow everything I say here without questioning. I am saying this because the most important thing here is to have fun and enjoy the game. So if you want to use a Tenten because it looks cool or cute, go ahead. The first thing you need to know is that there are 12 types or elements in Tenten universe. In each of the six islands of the Airborne Archipelago predominates two of these 12 elements. Keep in mind that you also find Tentens from other types against NPCs and of course in the wild. So always have a versatility on your team with different types. On this first island, Denise, the predominant types are wind and water. So let's take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of these elements. To make this visual, I will use this chart based on Ten Teams website. I will leave the link on the description below. Here you can see on the left column the strength of that given element, in which ones that element will hit double damage and which elements that one takes only half of the damage. On the other hand, the right column shows the weaknesses of that type, which ones it will deal only half damage and which elements can deal two times the damage on it. Our focus will be on the second column in order to explore the weaknesses of that type, how to tank its hits and which elements can double damage it. Let's take water first. Water type techniques are strong against digital, earth and fire, and water type 1010 takes only half of the damage from earth water and fire techniques. Now, for its weaknesses, water deals half damage on water tentens, nature and toxic ones, and takes double damage from electric techniques, nature and toxic. So, any water, nature and toxic tenten can be a tanker against water techniques, and any technique from electric, nature and toxic will do double damage on water tentens. Before talking about Tentens to use, let's take a look on the Wind type first. Wind is more simple because Wind techniques only deal double damage against Toxic type. And Wind Tentens resist only Wind type attacks and Earth techniques as well. Wind deals only half the damage against Electric and Wind and have weakness for Electric type attacks, taking double damage. As you can see, both Wind and Water Tentens share the same weakness for Electric type attacks. Taking all that in consideration, let's jump to Tentain recommendations. The first one, you probably may have heard this before, even in my other videos, is about using Genki. This Tentain explores the shared weaknesses from both water and wind to electric type attacks. And this is the only catchable electric Tentain in the Nice before the Dojo. Along with that, Genki is also wind type, making him two times resistant to wind type attacks taking only one quarter of the damage from that type. You can capture Genki in this grass here and Thalassian Cliffs between Brissol de Mar and Arisola. Keep catching Genkis as long as your patience can take <laughs> and try to find one with good statuses and prioritizing SP attack SVs since most of Genki's techniques are special type. Unfortunately, both of Genki's traits are bad ones, so just focus on finding one with good SVs. I'm considering you face the dojo around level 20s. And in this level, I recommend you to use the following techniques on your Genki. DC Beam is a triprio electric move, a very fast one, dealing two times the damage against both water and wind. Wind Blade, a wind technique you can use against Tentens that resist electric, like nature, and against toxic ones that takes double damage from wind. Sparks is a SP attack buff, increasing your damage during that fight. You can target this at your partner as well. Lastly, you can use any other skill. Here I'm using Dream Pact, because it has a high damage and it's a neutral skill. 
only mentos resist that. But if you want to, you can use chain lightning. But be careful because this skill bounces 3 times clockwise, dealing less damage each time. And if you want Gunky to tank the last hit, use Gunky in your second position and target this technique on your diagonal. Another great type to use in the Nis is Nature, especially this Tenten called Saku, his Kaku's evolution, a wind and nature Tenten. You can capture Kaku's, its pre-evolution, right here at the beginning, in this grass here. For being nature and wind, Saku's resist both water and wind techniques, being a tanker for the Nis. But it also deals a lot of damage against water with its nature and toxic techniques. Both of Saku's traits are good. One is a buff to nature damage and one is a buff to wind damage. While capturing Kaku, try to find a nice one with good SVs in both attack and SP attack. Because in this first island, you need both types of techniques. Although lately, Saku specializes only in SP attack techniques. For your moveset, I recommend this one around level 20. Sharp Leaf, a physical nature attack to counter water tentems. Shy Shield, a defense buff for the caster. Wind Burst, a high damage wind technique. And Urushiol, that also counters water tentems. But Urushiol is only better than Sharp Leaf against water if you can manage to activate its synergy by having a toxic type tenten along with you. This synergy poisons the target for 4 turns. In the Nis, Platypet's evolution line is also great because Platypet is a toxic Tenten. With the trait Toxic Affinity, Platypet gains a damage bonus for toxic techniques, and for being already a toxic Tenten, this bonus is doubled. For Platypet, I recommend these techniques. Venomous Claws, your main damage against nature and water, buffed by your type and toxic affinity trait. Aqua Bullet Hell, a nice water damage technique on turn 1. Tsunami is an area damage technique with one turn of hold. Hits both Tentens on the other side. And lastly, Sand Splatter. This will be very situational since it's Earth type, but you can use this against Electric Tentens, for instance. Platypets can be found above Arisola in this area called the Gifted Bridges. It appears in this grass and in this one. For SVs, also try to find one with good attack and special attack, because you need these two types of techniques in the beginning, just like Saku. Just be careful with one thing. Platypet is a toxic type, meaning that wind techniques are a threat to him, so avoid leaving Platypet on the field against wind tentens. And lastly, this very underestimated one, Saipat. Just like Platypet, Saipats have access to the trait Toxic Affinity, gaining bonus damage on toxic techniques. But, unlike Platypet, he is not a toxic Tenten. Saipats are water and melee. This means that Saipats are not weak against wind attacks. In your Saipat, I recommend this moveset. Venomous Claws, main damage against water and nature. Water Blade, stab water move since he's water. Martial Strike, stab melee move since he's melee. And finally, you can pick any other technique, but here I'm using Stare. This technique debuffs your target with one less stage of defense and makes Saipat alert for two turns. This state prevents sleep. Saipat can be found since the first grass above Zadar, but he appears before the dojo with better hates in this square grass here, near Brissol de Mar. I recommend you to capture Saipats until you find one with good attack SV. That's it folks, I hope this video helped someone, if you enjoyed, please like this video. Feel free to comment below which Tentens you will try. If you have already beaten Denis, let us know how was your team like and your thoughts on that. I'll be working on the next video for Omnesia. So, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye.